Hey everybody, Jason here. I wanted to do a unboxing of the Coral Reef Light I got from Amazon. It is a current USA Orbit Marine LED light, 24 to 36 inch. Uh, this is going to be going on a, a 20 gallon tall tank. Uh, I hope they sent me the right size because this box is way bigger than 36 inches. But it also comes with a couple of uh, things with it. So I um, wanted to do an unboxing of this for those of you who are new to my channel. Um, if this is the first video you're watching, this is just going to be an unboxing. I won't show this on the tank until the next video. Uh, but I kind of wanted to do this separate in case anybody's ever need some information on this light. Uh, this light cost me just about a hundred bucks on Amazon. Uh, comes with a remote with all kinds of um, uh, features on the remote and a uh, some kind of sensor thing that we'll figure out here. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Well, that size looks a little bit better. Sorry, I think I just hit the camera. All right, let's go ahead and open this one. Okay, we got a box and a box and a box. There we go, current orbit marine LED. 24 hour lighting control. Got another box in a box. Something is, I think something's over on this side. Well, I have to say, this is packaged pretty dang good. All right, looks like we got some power supply or whatnot. Oh, looks like that's the remote and the ramp timer, ramp timer pro, and looks like we got part of this power supply in here. It's tape mat. I gotta say this is packaged really well. Um, this is definitely not getting hurt in transit. Oh wow, I actually thought this was gonna be silver. Uh, we got adjustable feet here to go out to a bigger tank. I'll probably just need it like that. That's a lot of LEDs right there that's nice and thin. Looks like it's made out of aluminum. Looks like we got an instruction manual. Oh wow, battery. Holy cow, there's a lot that came with this. More instructions. Uh, this looks like I have a clamp here. Looks like a mount for the timer. I'm not sure where you're supposed to mount that, maybe in the wall or something. Oh, even gave you some Velcro? Okay, and you know, I gotta say, this is a whole lot that came with this. Yeah, I mean, you got your light, you got the cords, your timer, remote Velcro battery, you got a little bracket there for mounting the timer. That's that's quite a bit. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed. Now, whether or not this light is actually going to grow coral, that's a whole nother story. But, aside from that, looks like a pretty cool light. Oh, I missed something. The actual power supply. Something else that was hidden in a box. Here's the actual power supply for it. So let's plug this in and see how bright this looks. Okay, so I got this plugged into the wall and um, I figured out a little bit of this remote thing. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to go over every single thing because um, 
I don't know how to use everything on here. So we'll go ahead and turn this on, boom. So what it said to do was you hit set clock and then you go ahead and you're, you're gonna set the regular time, the your time of your state or area codes of code, where, wherever you're at. And then um, you set your timer. There's four timers on here, which I guess are pre-programmed, uh, but I gotta read some more of the instructions um, to find out exactly uh, what those times are because uh, I guess for Coral you want it on a 12-12 cycle not completely sure about that but but the cool thing is is these buttons right here so you've got blue and white LED and you can adjust the levels of both of them oh, which is pretty freaking cool watch this so we're gonna turn this on and so these would be the white and you can actually watch the number go down Now I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but all the whites are now off. And now we can bring the blues all the way down. And the light's off. And I guess it stays that way. I wonder if you hit def there's a default button. No, nope, I guess you got to manually put them back on. So we're just going to bring the whites. You can see the number going up. So this is actually pretty cool. You can really mix the colors of the white and the blue. So that's 100% white. And now we'll bring the blue up. Wow, that's freaking cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Woo! All right, I love this thing. I love it already. So, you got quite a bit of an instruction manual here. I'm not going to go over everything. Read it. You got your remote. You got all the stuff on here, what to do. Uh, it looks pretty thorough. Uh, I got to study exactly all the things to do with this remote. It looks like you got all kinds of different modes. You got dynamic modes on here. Uh, there's a thunderstorm. Let's do the thunderstorm. There's a thunderstorm. It like flashes, so it's like simulating lightning. Oh, that's cool. So you got presets right here. I don't know if you can see. You got, uh, it looks like cloudy. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's cool. I like this. This is awesome. I'm just going to sit here and play with this. I need one of these for my freshwater tank light. Okay, so that's the unboxing. Um, I hope I I went over the light enough for you guys. Uh, on is, uh, I don't know if this is going to grow coral yet. We'll find out. But aside from that, this is well worth $100 with all these features. Uh, i got to figure out the timer on this and uh, get it on the correct cycle for the corals that I buy. But as for $100, though, that, that's pretty sweet. That's it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Next video will be out this weekend on probably making the filter for the saltwater tank and getting most of that together. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.